Well, hello and welcome to the launch of MicroStrategy 2019, the biggest breakthrough in analytics for decades. For those of you who are unfamiliar with MicroStrategy, MicroStrategy's vision is intelligence everywhere. We've been building analytics software for over 30 years to help organizations solve their most complex analytics problems. For those of you who are familiar with MicroStrategy, prepare to see something that's completely unexpected. Uh, MicroStrategy 2019 is our latest platform release, and it includes capabilities and features that we've been working on for a number of years. For those of you who are unfamiliar with me, my name is Hugh Owen. I've worked on products at MicroStrategy for nearly two decades. For those of you who are familiar with me, hello, mum. <laughs> with MicroStrategy 2019, we wanted to challenge ourselves, really deliver on the vision that we believed in for over three decades. And we looked at the entire industry and realized that decisions happen everywhere but they come in different shapes and sizes. There are some decisions that are strategic and take days, or decisions that take hours, or, or, and some decisions take minutes. But there are thousands of decisions that happen in, in the matter of seconds. And the analytics industry, up until this point, has continued to invest in tools and approaches that overemphasize on the decisions that take hours and days at the expense of the decisions that happen in mere seconds. And what has that resulted in? That has resulted in organizations who have at best utilization of these, these powerful analytics products, the, these, this information that can help us make better decisions, utilization at less than a third of the people in their organizations. 32% of people at any time, in any week, in, in an organization, using information to help them make better decisions is a fail. It's too low. And so with MicroStrategy 2019, we wanted to ask ourselves, how could we go beyond that number? How could we not only incrementally improve it, but go all the way to 100%? And with MicroStrategy 2019, we've introduced a number of incremental enhancements and an industry breakthrough that I'll get to shortly. We wanted to ask ourselves, okay, why is it important to get to 100%? Right? If you think of all of the interactions you have on any given day, the interactions you have with other employees, the interactions you might have with customers, the interactions you might have with, with important partners or vendors, every single one of those interactions is richer if you have information at your disposal, every single decision you make about something is better if you know more about that thing. Organizations are better run and are more intelligent if information is pervasively distributed to every single person and injected in every process and every device throughout that organization. So how can we incrementally improve on the experiences we deliver to people today? Well, for business users, we said, how can we make information even easier to consume? One of, the, one of the secrets to making something easier is to make it familiar. And we asked ourselves, what is one of the most familiar forms of information consumption? And it's a book. I could give every single one of you a book, and you know how it works. You know it has a front cover. You know it has a, a collection of pages grouped into chapters. So we took that paradigm and we injected all of the power and all of the sophistication of enterprise analytics into these interactive books with powerful visual filters that sourced information from various different places and with MicroStrategy 2019 introduced dossiers. One of the most easy way to consume powerful sophisticated analytics ever introduced. And then we said, how can we bring more people to these interactive books of data? And we looked at social networks like Twitter and Facebook, networks that are incredibly successful at bringing more and more people into looking at the latest content. 
and we developed capabilities alongside these dossiers where I could write to different users, I can read previous comments, I could store what I was looking at right now and share it, but share it in a way that where alerts would get sent via email or by push notifications that someone can tap on and bring them back into the data. Or I'm bringing people in with collaborative capabilities into these beautiful dossiers of analytics. And how would I serve all of my business users with, these, with a library of dossiers and a library of collaboration and recommendations on other content. And we introduced that with library in MicroStrategy 2019. And so with the dossiers and collaborative analytics grouped together in libraries, we've made information easier to consume than ever before. But then we asked ourselves, how can we continue to incrementally move the ball forward? Right? We can do that by making it easy for business users to create content, to be analysts, for existing analysts to do more faster, to make it easier to create content. And we looked at things like, like Google, where everyone is incredibly familiar with typing and looking for answers, and said, why can't we bring that paradigm to a powerful data discovery interface so that creating analytics was as simple as typing a question into a search bar? And we took those capabilities and we made them available on Mac, on PC, on web, so that everyone would have access to them. And we said, okay, well, that gets us some of the way. But that empowers people who use MicroStrategy's analytics tools to build analytics and build dossiers faster. But what about all of the people who use other analytics tools every single day? And they're familiar with those tools and, and, and enjoy using those tools. We want those users to also be able to use trusted, scalable, secure data that comes from MicroStrategy 2019. So we added capabilities and support for users of Tableau and Click and Power BI to be able to connect into published data in MicroStrategy so that analysts who use a variety of different tools, tools they love, could use them on top of a platform that they trust with federated analytics, new in, in MicroStrategy 2019. And that moved us to the point where the information is now easier to consume, it's now easier to create. But then we realized that depending on the industry you're in, you're frequently in situations where you're not able to build analytics. You're in stores, you're in warehouses, you're in hotels. Why? Can't we inject intelligence into every single one of these different experiences? Why can't we inject intelligence and have it reach everywhere? And with the developments with mobile technologies, tablets, and smartphones, we realized that we needed to bring, with MicroStrategy 2019, a set of enhancements to mobile analytics so that our existing business users could easily build mobile dossiers that they could push out to tablets, to smartphones, to iOS, to Android devices that work online and offline, that analysts could use no-code drag-and-drop design paradigms so they could also build these mobile applications. So we've empowered business users and analysts and even developers can take advantage of the capabilities in MicroStrategy 2019 and inject them into their own custom applications delivering intelligence everywhere. And where does that get us? Even with those pretty impressive improvements, well, at best we're at 40%. 40% still a fail. Come home with 40% on your report card and it's not a good evening. <laughs> Instead of improving incrementally on what we've been doing, why don't we take a step back because our goal is still intelligence everywhere. Our goal is 100%. That is our passing grade. If we take a step back and ask ourselves, what does pervasive intelligence look like? Right? What, remove the constraints of reality and design the perfect solution. Hollywood does this really well, right? They, they don't live with the constraints of reality. The Jarvis, it delivers intelligence to Tony Stark based on whatever he's looking at. 
based on the person or the goody or the baddie in front of them or the vehicle he's looking at or the building he's looking at. The solution there is to make, for Jarvis and Tony Stark, is to make intelligence so pervasive that it's literally everywhere. And if you're Iron Man, you live in your suit, you live in your lab, right? We live in email, right? We live on the internet. So I want to bring intelligence to those tools, not augmented on the side, not, not sort of delivered as an attachment, but interweave it into those experiences as if it's part of my email, as if it's part of every single internet site I look at. I also want to make sure that I can look at this intelligence and I can find this intelligence without any effort whatsoever. I want the intelligence to appear in front of me as if by magic. It has to be not 20 clicks, not five clicks, not one click. Like who wants to, when they need to find intelligence, open up a website or go and then navigate to a project and navigate to a folder and navigate to a dashboard and answer a filter. Like all of those clicks put together, it, it's, just, it's like eating your watch. It's time consuming. <laughs> I want it to be effortless. I want to be able just to mouse over something and the intelligence to magically pop up. I want it to be effortless and require zero training. I also want the information to be reliable. I want to be able to trust that information. I don't want to get information in front of me that is you know, one of 40 possible answers. I want one set of information about my customers, one set of information about the employee sitting in front of me. Right? And I want the information just like Iron Man, to be personalized to me, right? To be relevant to the things I care about based on who I am and what my job is and, and who you are and, and what your job is and, and your industry and your department. The information needs to be relevant to who we are. And with MicroStrategy 2019, we have met this challenge. And we have introduced MicroStrategy Hyperintelligence that completely turns the analytics paradigm and the approach to analytics on its head because you no longer need to go and find answers. Answers find you. Hyperintelligence is a brand new category of analytics that requires zero clicks, that are so effortless that intelligence is injected on every single word that I look at, on the screens that I walk by, and on objects and places that are in front of me. And it's all built on a foundation of an incredibly familiar thing to each and every one of us, a card. Every single one of you has on your person probably cards of information. You probably have a driving license, uh, an insurance card, business cards. So why can't we take that incredibly familiar device and imbue it with the sophistication and power of MicroStrategy 2019? What if we were to build that card with real-time live data that pulls from various different places, such as LinkedIn data, such as information from your CRM system, such as information that maybe you have stored in relational stores or big data stores, and have cards rich with information about every single employee in my organization? But I've also got other parts of the business I care about just as much. Beyond cards for employees, I want to have cards for my customers. I want to give every single one of my salespeople this intelligence that is pervasive in every single tool they look at throughout their entire day. I want to have cards for all of the different activities in my business. I want to have cards for all of the different accounts within my organization. I want to build cards for all the products in, in a manufacturing organization, say. I want to have cards for all of the, the stores within my, my retail chain, right? all of the different buildings that I care about within my organization. And these cards, to be truly magical, should be incredibly easy to build. So easy that I could drag and drop my information onto these cards and distribute them out to thousands of people in a matter of minutes. And these cards come to life.
because every single time I see a word in my email, the cards are presented to me based on that word, based on seeing a customer, I get my customer card. A product, I see my product card. A zip code, I get information about that, that area as it relates to my business. I see cards presented to me beyond just email, but on every single website that I visit that recognizes on every single word within those websites the information that I have stored in cards and has that injected into that experience without me having to change my patterns. I'm still looking at my email, I'm still looking at those websites and now I've got intelligence pervasively presented to me throughout my day. Or what if I spend time in things like salesforce.com or other CRM solutions? I have these cards presented to me in those experiences too. What about cards on Excel? Excel, a perfect device for editing data and creating data. Now on top of that, I can bring system of record data in these hyper-intelligent cards and I can scan through word after word after word, customer after customer, and find that information. And cards, more than just the presentation of information, it provides you with a launch pad to not only inject your most powerful AI algorithms into an experience that the user is living in every day, but also a launch pad into exploring all of that data. Right? I could present cards on data discovery tools like Tableau and, and Power BI dashboards. So if someone's built me a dashboard based on some sample of data, I can present on top of it the system of record data that my business uses. These zero-click applications, these zero-click experiences exist now in hypercards on all of these different interfaces, but they also exist when you walk up to conference walls and screens in front of shared spaces. So now, with hyperintelligence, I can build applications where this valuable information is presented to people based on the fact they're standing in front of a TV screen. Have information presented to salespeople when they walk through the sales floor. Have information presented to, to employees as they walk through a distribution center. With MicroStrategy 2019, hyperintelligence extends to walls. With MicroStrategy 2019, an object-based augmented reality, hyperintelligence extends to the objects that I see in front of me on store shelves or in the back of a warehouse. Hyperintelligence exists on the buildings and the places in front of me with the value of hypercards injected using GPS-based augmented reality. It is almost certainly the beginning of a new wave for enterprise intelligence, but it requires the underpinnings, it requires a platform that solves a number of different problems because you've got tens of thousands of people asking tens of thousands of different questions concurrently. It needs to be able to present a single enterprise version of the truth. And it needs to be able to take advantage of the most recent developments from the most popular cloud vendors like AWS, like Azure, or to be deployed in your own private cloud environment on Windows or, or Linux. And MicroStrategy 2019 delivers a platform that is modern, that has an open architecture, and is enterprise scale. Hyperintelligence delivers on our vision of intelligence everywhere and gets us to 100%. So welcome to the next wave of enterprise intelligence. Welcome to hyper-intelligence everywhere. Welcome to MicroStrategy 2019. Thank you.